Are the Atlanta Falcons still in the Devontae Adams sweepstakes? Are they and will they try to obtain the star receiver? In this video, I'm going to give you an update of what I'm hearing about Devontae Adams and his potential opportunity to going with the Atlanta Falcons. Now, starting over from the very beginning, if you don't know Devontae Adams, he is essentially a top five, some say top three, I say top five receiver in this league right now. He's a phenomenal player. He can run efficient and great routes, and he is a possession catch guy. If you need a, a first down, um, from third and ten, you throw Devontae Adams, and he just seems to make a play happen. Now, in regards to his current situation, he is with the new, not new, Las Vegas Raiders. And ba basically, both sides have come out and said, hey, we're looking at potentially trading this guy. Now, before, and I'm just giving you an update about Devontae Adams and his um, way to Atlanta. Before this week, I would say Devontae Adams had about 5% chance of going to the Atlanta Falcons. But right now, I will put that chance at about a half a percent. And here's why. There's been things that's transpired within the last five, six, seven days that really makes me think, hey, Devontae Adams is probably like mostly not likely to come to Atlanta. And here it is. Number one, Kirk Cousins threw for 500 yards. He had two 100 plus yards receivers on the fill at the same time. Also, you can't forget about Ray Ray McLeod. And the guy who caught the game-winning touchdown pass was not one of those 100 receivers. So essentially, Kirk Cousins was able to distribute the ball to five targets, two of which weren't your primary targets, but two of it, one of those guys basically won the game. So I say this to say, Kirk Cousins has a lot of depth at receiver right now for the Atlanta Falcons. We were expecting them to step up. Drake Lennon, Kyle Pitts, Darnell Mooney, or even Ray Ray McLeod. And those guys delivered last game. A game that people, many experts say, the Atlanta Falcons are starting to get it figured out. You even heard Kirk Cousin come out and say, hey, I'm starting to anticipate more than react. And that is the Kirk Cousins that a lot of people want to see. Now, what does this have to do with... Uh, uh, Devontae Adams. This basically says, hey, we're good without Devontae Adams right now. We're not going to give up the capital or the money to get Devontae Adams because right now, if we play like we are, we're a record-breaking offense as it is right now. So that's the number, reason why, number one reason why Devontae Adams is probably most likely, even pretty much definitely, not coming to Atlanta. I also would like to say Atlanta has cap space. But next year, Devontae Adams has about a $35 million cap hit. And to a lot of teams, that's just not feasible. And Atlanta's one of those teams. They're paying Kirk Cousins. They're paying Darnell Mooney. They have to pay uh, Kyle Pitts his last year. They're paying, uh, they may they have to figure out a deal with Matthew Judon. We try to see if they're going to bring in another defensive team player. There's a lot of people they have to play, pay. And Devontae Adams is just not in the cards especially for Atlanta with a limited cap space right now. Now, there's something else that came out. Reports essentially said that the, the Las Vegas Raiders are looking for a second round pick to start the negotiation, so to speak. The Atlanta Falcons are good right now. I think they have potential to be a top four team in the NFC. Currently, as they're constructed, I think in the future, their gaps are being seen in the defensive line. The Atlanta Falcons are not giving up a second round pick to get a player that will, I don't think, take them over the edge. A second round pick for an aging player, no disrespect to Devontae Adams, I know he's top five, top three, whatever you want to say, but he is an aging player, he's 30 plus. And he will have a $35 million cap hit next year. It's just not smart at all. And for the Atlanta Falcons case, they're one of the few teams where his addition, I don't think would take it from, take the Atlanta Fal Falcons from a 10-win team to 12-win team because they are and they have a good offense, which was seen against the game against Tampa Bay. A defensive-minded team, by the way. So I don't think that will help. I also don't think Raheem Morris or Terry Fontenot is giving up a second. All 
also, I don't think, especially with the lost pick because of the tampering, they can afford to give up picks. They need to continue to invest in the future like they've been doing. Not only continue to invest in skill player, but invest in the defense. And there's one glaring need on this defensive line, and that's pass rushing. They went out and got Matthew Judon. I think they have a potential to go out and get another free agent or trade for another target to pair with Matthew Judon. And I think going forward to build this team and build this roster for now and the future, they have to invest in pass rush. And I think they'll do that, especially with that second round pick that the Raiders want. So that really eliminates the idea that Devontae Adams are going, is going to the Falcons. But this brings up another good point. So the New York Jets basically fired Robert Salah today. And that means a couple things to me. Number one, the, they, the owner and whoever fired him, they want to win. I, I think that's the big one. They want to win. I also think this means they're going to be making changes within the next few days to ensure themselves winning this year. If they didn't want to win that bad this year, they would have kept Robert Sala, even though he wasn't winning games. To take it another step, to win games for the New York Jets, they are going to get a new receiver, a.k.a. Devontae Adams. I think this is a move that's saying, hey, we're stacking all our chips. We're pushing it forward. We want to win. Instead of firing a guy at the end of the season, we're going to fire him now. We're going to stack all the chips. We're going to push it forward, and we're going to try to win this year. That means they're trying to get Devontae Adams, and also that means Hassan Reddick is going to be there without a contract because I think going for it, they just won't have enough cap space to continue to pay Hassan Reddick and Devontae Adams with that major cap hit. I will say this as well. A lot of people flame me in the comments about my last video about Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick will help the Atlanta Falcons regardless. And I think that Hassan Reddick, after this deal gets done with Devontae Adams to the Jets, if it does happen, will be on the first way out of New York to a team that wants him. I'm not saying Atlanta needs to be that team, but they need to be very high in inquiring about Hassan Reddick because you pair him, even though he has a terrible attitude and he's not playing in this, that, and the other, he can play football. He is 11 side guy. You pair him with Matthew Judon, that is where you take a team from 10, 11, 12 wins to Super Bowl winners. That's all I'm saying. But if you agree or disagree with me, leave a comment down below. Let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, check this one out right here. And like always, peace.